Okay, we have two boats in a leadership position here. Larry is probably a very close second. I bet if he tacked right now, I bet he'd be crossing. So I'd probably, probably leading. And he's, he's adjusting he's, his board to make as much speed as possible? No, the board's all the way down. So he's twisted on the main a little bit. Hold up a little bit on No. So he's twisted off on the main, which I'd trim another click or two. It's not criminal. I'd have eased on that. Try to keep the mass stable. That means the board is stable. So it's a little bit of an ugly dance there. In a put, there's a header. So he's thinking attacking on that. But he's so close to the windward mark. He's thinking, nah. On that header, I would have attacked and crossed Chris Vermillion over here on my left hip. We'll see what he got. So we'll see how this goes. There's a puff right here at the top of the cone. I can see Larry's down another five degrees. I can see him steering down, down, down. Don't be, there's another header. He needs to go. Even if he's not laying, he needs to go. And when you see a header, you're just seeing, watching the top of the mass dip a little I'm bit. watching his sail luff, the jib luff a little okay, bit. Watching the jib luff. And I know the wind shift was to his right a little bit. Right. Which means he could have tacked onto the lifted tack. But I know what he's thinking. He's, he's headed again. This is another header. He's eating headers on this uh, port tack. He should have tacked. Let's see how it turns out. 